All right, I'm gonna be honest. I've been waiting to unbox this thing for this review. Oh my God, Hot Toys Captain Rex. Let's unbox this thing. Packaging feels so nice. Oh my God. Flip this off. Okay, that's a cool poster. This poster is really cool. Like, look at that, yes. And, oh my God, the packaging. You get so many things with this figure. Oh my God, oh my God. Yes. Oh, there it is, the piece of resistance. Oof. Oof. This is stunning, this is stunning. Oh my God, yes. Freaking new holy grail piece right here. This guy is, oh my god, yes! Not gonna lie, this review kind of hits home for me, first of all. The first season of Bad Batch was gonna mark the end of, essentially, reviews for a while. I can't say it, man. I really enjoyed War Mantle, and I really enjoyed this season. It's a good season and good start off to the show. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Really gonna miss this place. Really am. Really am. What do you need, Rex? Any chance I could use you for a mission? Parents, the Not gonna lie, this review hits home for me. Because, in a way, I grew up with Clone Wars throughout my entire school career. It started when I went to kindergarten, and Clone Wars ended when I graduated high school. And the same for Bad Batch. It started when I went to college, and it's probably gonna end when I end college. Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2. Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 follows the Bad Batch as they have to survive the Empire now. Clones are f being phased out. Stormtroopers are being brought in. And yeah, I have to say, this season blew me away. This season blew me away. There were a lot of things I had to say about it, and they were all good. They were very, very good, and this is some of the best Star Wars we have gotten since Clone Wars. There were so many story elements I loved. There were so many heartbreaking moments in this series. There were points in the show where it made you think like Clone Wars did. And I like a show that makes me think, especially for an animated show. Animated shows that make you have to think and process afterwards, you know it's not meant for kids when it makes you do that. Sure, it's still animated, but when a show makes you think, that's when you know they're doing something right. That's when you know they're targeting more towards the fans and adults of the show. And I like that. They don't treat their audience like kids. Sure, you've got Omega. She's pretty much that kid figure of the audience. But when things go down in the show, they go down. Tension rises, especially when it's the Crosshair solo episodes, which were fantastic. Solidary Clone in the Outpost 
was freaking fantastic. You get to see former clones you haven't seen since Clone Wars. You get to see new clones. You get to see special cameo clones as well. That's what I love about this show. You see these clones fighting against the Empire. It's more personable for the Bad Batch, honestly. There's a lot of character development this season as well, which I really like. There, Yeah, there's filler, but in my case, I don't consider it filler because the characters are being developed in these filler episodes. You get more screen time with Tech in Echo. You get more screen time with the characters who didn't get to shine in the last season, which I really, really enjoy. And these filler episodes push along the story and push along small parts of the story, like Sid. You get hints throughout the season about Sid. You get hints about this thing in the season and this thing in the season. What's all building up to? And I have to say the finale of this season, man. The last three episodes, stuff goes down. It's the Empire Strikes Back, essentially. This season is the Empire Strikes Back. The Bad Batch. That's how stuff goes down. If you thought the last finale was... This is where things go down, and it's truly heartbreaking. It's truly a gut-wrenching finale, and overall, Bad Batch has significantly improved since the last season. The filler episodes aren't just filler episodes anymore. They're more pushing along the story, introducing character development to characters you didn't get to shine in last season, like Tech and Echo. They're treating you like a mature audience, which I absolutely love. And overall, Bad Batch Season 2 gets an A+. This has been my favorite show since Clone Wars, honestly. I love Andor. Mandalorian Season 3 is right now slowly moving along. There are points when I realized Bad Batch was better than The Mandalorian. This season just kicked it into high gear. And we've got to wait until 2025? 2025? But the wait will be worth it. That's all for this time. Punch out like button face like a boss. See you guys in the next show. Bye-bye. <laughs>